Yeah, I've still been on my government diet, but I haven't been able to weigh uh, down here because I don't have a scale. So I'm just assuming that I'm still losing weight. Uh, we'll just assume that. So I have to be careful when she gets on these cooking sprees. Uh, I'm going to have to walk a little extra. She made uh, these little breakfast pocket things. I ate some of that and then she made some chocolate gravy that goes on biscuits. I had to taste that. I did just taste it. I didn't eat any of it. And then she's braising a chicken on the stove. So that's three videos. So that was my job this afternoon. Uh, you know, I can cook myself. You know, I, I should cook uh, for you guys do some cooking videos um have to be careful with that i don't want to I mean, put my wife out of business with my cooking because this is pretty good uh yeah i don't want to mess her up and i probably don't need to do too many cooking videos yeah when i met uh my wife one of the things that she uh told me uh, I think we'd had like a date or whatever. You know, anyway, she was, I was going to come over to where she lived and, and uh, she was going to cook for me. And uh, she lived at her dad's house in the basement. And so uh, she goes, why don't you come over here and I'll make you dinner? And I was like, okay, yeah, sure. She goes, now I can cook. You know, like that was some kind of weird. I mean, like she was, I'm just going to be straight up with you. I can cook. And uh, I had no idea when she said that, what that really meant, because she could really cook. And uh, she wanted to make sure I figured that out immediately, and I did. It didn't take a whole lot for me to figure out she could cook. And then what's bad about it is her mother, oh Lord, she cooked better than my wife. I mean, because I started eating her food and I was like, oh, and this is so good. She didn't make anything. And then we go to her mother's and I was like, what, what is this? This isn't food. This is some kind of something that people know. I mean, it was just outstanding. Man, that lady cook. Whew. But usually people like to remember your cooking failures rather than your cooking successes. Um, like for example, ah, uh, let's see, and this has happened to me a couple times. My wife keeps all this stuff in these containers, uh, in the, you know, like flour and sugar and cornmeal and all this stuff. And they say on them, flour, sugar, cornmeal. They tell you what it is on them. And uh, it says on the top and it says on the side. Well, sometimes she gets in a hurry and it might be the flour and she puts the sugar top on it well one time i made some uh cornbread and we get it out and we're like my god what in the world is wrong with this cornbread i told her i said it's not getting done it's, it looks terrible what's wrong with my cornbread and then we figured out that she had some kind of flour bread flour or something some kind of crazy flour in there and i had used that instead of using cornmeal and she's like well why did you do that and i'm like well it said i mean when you put the name on something put the name on it i'm gonna assume that's what it is i did the same thing one time with uh what was that uh powdered sugar what was i putting in i was making pancake mix yeah that's what i was doing i was making pancakes and she had um powdered sugar on the flour thing or flour in the you know anyway man i was putting in powdered sugar i was just stirring it up stirring it up and i was like what is wrong with this why is this not mixing up right tammy what's wrong with this flour i mean did i put too much milk in you know and i'm stirring and stirring look at all of it and then i figure out it's powdered sugar instead of florida uh, instead of florida powdered and i figure out it's powdered sugar and i'm in florida flour 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 and florida are very much alike matter of fact i think those words are from the same root meaning uh flour 
from the word flower and Florida from the word flower. You can look that up. In college, you know, I could cook. There were a lot of things I could cook in college. Like I could make fried chicken and, you know, cube steak and whatever, you know, vegetables. I mean, I could cook cornbread and stuff like that. So my, all of my roommates were from uh, Marietta, which is a suburb. It's in Cobb County outside of Atlanta. They were a little more uh, city-fied than I was, I'll put it that way. So I would make this stuff, and I mean, it wasn't anything, you know, open a can of corn and heat it up and make some cornbread and some fried chicken. And they would just be like, oh, oh God, this is so good. You're the best. How'd you learn how to do that? So I figured out pretty quick that most people can't cook. And they think, like apparently think it's like some kind of magic trick or something, you know, like they just can't comprehend how, how did you do that? Like, I, I don't understand. Uh, there's a lot of people like that. Like they can't cook at all. I mean, they don't have any earthly idea, not even a clue how it happens, what the process is, why, why you do certain, I mean, they have no clue where this stuff, how it disappears on their plate. A lot of people, that blows my mind. I remember one time I made a uh, German chocolate cake and I mean, it was just a cake mix. It wasn't anything, you know, and it was my friend's birthday. And uh, so I made him a big, I had a sheet pan. I don't know why I had a sheet pan, but anyway, I made, <laughs> I made him a, you know, one layer, big sheet pan, German chocolate cake and just opened a can of icing or something. I mean, it wasn't anything that I did. And I iced it and uh, <laughs> he came in from class and we were just messing with him. And we come in there, we're like, happy birthday. And started singing happy birthday to him and all this stuff. And he was like, cause we were always messing with each other. So he never really knew for sure if this was a legitimate, you know, are they really being nice to me or is something about to happen? Cause you really never knew in college. So you could tell he was a really defensive. Like what's, what's going on? And he looks at this cake and he starts kind of laughing. And he goes, what? He said, what is that? Like a big thing of baked beans or something? <laughs> and I was like, no, man, it's a German chocolate cake. And he looks at it closer. Oh, oh, man, I thought it was like a big thing of beans. And like, y'all are playing. I'm like, why would we bring you, why would we give you beans for your birthday? He's like, y'all are always doing stupid stuff. I don't think my wife is making that, those breakfast things. They're kind of like, uh, kind of like hot pocket kind of things, except they're biscuits. And they have like the, sausage and egg and all that stuff in them so anyway she says uh hand, hand, give me an egg wash and i was like what are you talking about i mean i know it has egg in it but what am i supposed to do with the egg well just give me fix me an egg wash oh you fix me an egg wash <laughs> that's my go-to that's what i always say when i don't know what else to say i repeat back to the person what they said to me it works like a charm you should try that um you know if somebody tells you hey you need to be quiet you just repeat back well why don't you be quiet or listen you can't you can't stand that over here uh you know this is a restricted area well why don't you stand over here why can't you stand here this it gets them every time there's no there's they don't know what to say because you're obviously so stupid <laughs> to say something like that. They're not gonna argue with you.